So now we're going to move into exploring and using some evidence-based strategies for teaching vocabulary. This is going to be a light introduction and you'll get deeper and more detailed support when you log into your individual teacher module, as well as when you use the templates in your downloadable teacher toolkit. So when you're introducing a new strategy for students to use as they learn and practice vocabulary, it's really important that you use a scaffolded approach to instruction that allows for a gradual release of responsibility from the teacher to the student. And in this way, students are supported as they learn the new strategy and once they understand how it works and what they're supposed to do, you can continue to have students use that strategy independently for future word learning. Okay, and that can be throughout the course throughout the year. So that being said, the gradual release of responsibility is a three-step process. The first step we call the I do, and this is the teacher modeling component. The second step is the we do. In this component, the teacher works through the strategy with the class, calling on students to provide pertinent information and then adding to or clarifying as needed to ensure that students are again seeing the strategy done correctly. Once you feel confident that the students have it, the third step is the you do. And it's at this point that students will independently practice using the strategy. So I strongly recommend that the first run through of the you do step happen first in the classroom so that you can walk around and observe students independently applying the strategy and then use what you see as a formative assessment to make sure that each and every student has grasped how to correctly apply the strategy. In the event that there are students who are struggling, you then will have an opportunity to provide them the extra instruction or support in the classroom that day before expecting that they will independently use the strategy for practice going forward. So with the gradual release of responsibility instructional process in mind, I'm going to model the I do component of using the evidence-based strategy of graphic organizers and specifically model using a graphic organizer called the Freyer model. Remember that when you're doing the I do stage, the students are watching what you're doing and you're talking out loud about what you're thinking so that the process is really clear to students and they really see how to employ that strategy. Okay, I say we give it a go and I want you to watch me as if I'm the teacher and you're the students. So I'm going to introduce you now to a new strategy that you're going to be able to use to explore and practice your vocabulary words. And that strategy is called the Freyer model. So let me first explain how the Freyer model works. The Freyer model is a four square graphic organizer where the word or the term that's being learned is placed in the center. And then each square around it holds specific information that relates to the word. So starting with the block on the top right, I'm going to write characteristics or attributes of the word. Then the block beneath that is a place to write non-examples of the word. The block beside that is a place to write examples of the word. And finally, the top block up on the left is where you write the definition of the word based on the other things you wrote and what you think. So I'm going to model that strategy for you so you can see it with one of our actual vocabulary words and the word I'm going to use is transparent. So the first thing I'm going to do is write transparent in the oval at the center of my model. And then I'm going to look to the top right block and I'm going to think to myself, hmm, what do I think the word transparent means? What comes to mind when I hear that word? And I tend to think about things that are clear or that I can see through. So I'm going to write down those characteristics or attributes of the word transparent in that top right block. The next block underneath is asking me for non-examples. So again, I'm thinking about things then that are not clear or that I can't see through. And that makes me think about things that are solid, like a rock or a piece of metal. So I'm going to use those as my non-examples and write in rock and metal in that block. So the block next to it is where I'm thinking about examples for the word transparent. And because I said transparent is something clear or I can see through, and I think that non-examples are things like rock or a piece of metal, then 
When I think about the opposite of that, I start to think about things like windows or water, maybe actually specifically drinking water because muddy water I couldn't see through. So in this block on the bottom left, I'm going to write window and drinking water as my examples. And now I have one block left and that's here to develop and write a definition of transparent. So I look over all the things I wrote in my other blocks and I think about what's a good definition of transparent. And I might come up with something that can be clearly seen through or something that I can look through and clearly see an object that's on the other side. So that gives you a sense of how you could model and think aloud for your students this particular graphic organizer, but the same would be true for any time you want to model the I do portion. You have to think out loud, walk through that so students can see how your thinking plays out as you work through the strategy. What I'm going to do now is to give you an opportunity to practice the strategy that I just modeled for you. You're going to have three minutes total. And in the first minute, you'll individually fill out a Freyer model template for the term of your choice. And then, with the collegial partner that you worked with earlier today, partner A will have two minutes to model the I do component of his or her word to partner B. Okay, so get together with your collegial partner and pull out your Freyer model template, and I'm going to get ready to start the clock timer.